fit check. It's literally all melted off. Thank God for makeup, baby. Yeah. <laughs> when he comes up in the club, he's blazing up. Got sex on deck, like he's saving up. It's like not you helping the needy. I'm like, okay, what's the worst that can happen? Pretty young girl from Zambia. You know that she ain't with the drummer. Light skin girl Osama. You know she the bomb, she cause trauma. Good morning. I am so tempted to go for this event like this, I can't even lie, but I will not. <laughs> I've just thrown over this t-shirt because I've already gotten my white tank top dirty and I'm not trying to do that again. I'm even running late. When am I not running late? Ugh. Anyway. camera will finish off my hair off camera I'll come back for a fit check okay so fit check I'm wearing this little pink two-piece I forget the name of the store that I got it from it was like an insta boutique I need to cut this off it's just like a string of cotton crop top is from Zara shoes are the new balance 530s it looks so cute period let me get going I'm so late <laughs> you guys can't even see me just got here Hey guys, welcome back. So welcome to my channel. Hi, my name is Nyamba and I create YouTube content which you should subscribe to. Okay, so as you saw, we got ready this morning to head for a Fenty event, which I was like, oh my god, so excited. Let's go, period, at Color Cafe. Now I'm here to tell you guys that I took a massive L. I took an L, you guys. So basically the event was moved from its original time, which was 10 to 12 to 5 to 7, and I did not get the memo. I don't know if they didn't have my contact or what, but I just did not get the memo. And I made sure I double, triple, quadruple check this morning, the time and everything, because one thing about me, I hate mornings, okay? So if I don't have to wake up early, I will not wake up early. And yeah, so I drove all the way just to find that that it's later this evening and then since it was at Lawanika Mall I was gonna go to my parents house since they live that side of town basically but then I'm like I'm gonna need to retouch my makeup and all of that later on like this face is not gonna sit till 5 p.m. so I just have to drive back home and you guys the price of gas it depend me it depend me anyway so starting off the day on a grand dandy note welcome to the vlog <laughs> <sighs> I just figured I'm having an eventful day today, so let me film. Well, I'll film today and like whatever else I get up to over the next couple of days. I guess enjoy. It's only 11.45, you guys, and I'm like fully done up at 11.45. Like what am I to do with myself? So anyway, I'm just gonna make breakfast now. I'm gonna change out of my shorts. These, I'm gonna keep the top on. I cannot be bothered because it's gonna get dirty if I start trying to take it off and on. Don't forget to thumbs this up, share it with somebody, and of course, subscribe. 
I'm giving you a second to subscribe because it shows me that a huge percentage of you guys who watch me are not subscribed. So what are you doing busy lurking, watching without subscribing? Click the button now. Have you clicked it? Okay, good. Let's get it. <laughs> I've really just been sat here texting my sis move but now I am quite hungry so I want to make a yogurt bowl. I'm so oily, Jesus Christ. I might need to go back to using Milk of Magnesia as a primer because that was the only thing that ever worked for my oil. Hey guys, I love yogurt bowls so much. Like when I grow up, I want to be a yogurt bowl. Mutually exclusive with two different points of view. Words go over both our heads. Yet we're asking ourselves how we don't listen to each other. We're just two mouths talking loud. Rice is cooking, it should be done in the next like 10 to 15 minutes. So I know it looks questionable, okay? But it's busting. I haven't even tasted it yet, but I know it's busting. Period. I'm gonna eat quickly. I will not film it so I can get ready to head out once again. In. <laughs> Sorry, I just remembered something. Okay, so I don't even know what I'm about to do to fix this face. It's literally all melted off because this makeup was not meant to last this long. Mmm, nothing some banana powder cannot fix first. I'm already controlling the oil period. But knowing me, by the time I'm getting there, I'll be shining already. You guys, this wig, I'm not about to put more glue because I just want to take it off as soon as I get back home. It looked photo ready earlier. For now, it just is what it is. So hot. Uh, some MAC powder everywhere else. The scar that I covered in the morning is even peeking through now. I don't care. Please stay. Stay, stay, stay. It's hard to be. Uh. 
I'm gonna touch up on the eyes. I used the Fenty bronzer for my eyes. Now to fix my lips. Not quite doing the lip combo I did earlier. Where is my gloss? Hold on, hold on. Earlier I used the Kat Von D liquid lipstick and then put gloss over it, but we're not doing that again. We put in effort earlier. We're putting a little bit of effort now. <laughs> Similar vibes. Okay, I'm gonna change and then head out. Thank God for makeup, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I've been very privileged across the years to do makeup artistry and of course skin as well for many different brands across the world including also makeup competitions in South Africa, in uh, London, in Zurich, in, in Zurich and Japan as well. And it is my absolute privilege today to be with Fenty, to be part of the team that has launched Fenty in Africa. Today we are in nine countries across Africa. So it is really, really exciting because Miss Riri is very serious about Africa. Period. <laughs> Miss Riri knows what we are needing and she knows that she is specifically wanting to ensure that Fenty products is there for every single skin type, every single skin tone. We specifically want to make sure, thank you so much, we appreciate that, that the products are also fully fully adaptable for even the most hardest to match skin tones even something as simple as in fact water you don't use cotton pads so you just click it open can you listen can you hear mm -hmm. it's just a click that's all you need to do you click it open and i just say you drop it so a little bit of a drop on there and it goes directly onto the face you just press it in no cotton pads whatsoever and if you can actually see from where you are sitting, you can see that her skin, in fact, let me ask you, what do you see her skin in? What just happened with her skin right oh. now? That reaction was like everything to me. <laughs> It is literally midnight right now as I am sitting here to take this makeup off or to get unready for the evening. I've had a long day. After the event, I went to my parents' house to drop off my Christmas tree and I ended up just like staying there for quite a while actually. And now it's time to take the day off. <laughs> See what I did there? So when I'm not super lazy, this is so funny actually. It's not funny, but like, you know, it's funny. Today, Lauren, the lady who was like doing, like conducting the masterclass, asked me earlier when I went like in the morning, she's like, oh, what do you use to take your makeup off? So I was like, it depends on when I'm lazy and when I'm not. I was like, when I'm lazy, I just use makeup wipes. When I'm not lazy, I use the Clinique take the day off balm like melting balm cleansing balm that's what it's called and i did a first impressions of this on tiktok actually so follow me on tiktok <laughs> um and she's like oh my gosh yeah i get that but like fenty beauty has this new cleanser that just like melts your makeup so i'm yet to try because I, I still have a lot of this one so 
Yeah, but today I'm semi-lazy. So what I'm gonna do is wipe most of it off with the wipes and then finish off with the balm because child, I just want this makeup off and I go shower then I get into bed. I am tired, knackered. Otherwise the event was good. While I was there, I actually tweeted about how I'm proud of myself that I can now attend events alone without having like such crippling anxiety. It's not like it's the first time I've started attending alone. I've been going for things alone, but like I'll just be so anxious like the whole time. <laughs> my ears are so funny. <laughs> Wait, let me get my headband. What am I doing? Hold on. This is so cute. Get out of here. I feel like a mermaid. Anyway, so back to what I was saying about how it gets such crippling anxiety about going for things alone. I'm an introvert, like contrary to what it looks like or what people think in general. That whenever I'm like, I'm an introvert, they're like, what? How? I'm like, I don't know, I am. <laughs> but if you know me in person, you know, like I usually just like keep to myself. I don't talk much unless you talk to me. Sometimes I'll try to open up and whatnot. Like I'll say hi, usually in settings things like that like I'll say hi to like the people I know and stuff and then if there was someone then I'll say hi to the someone but like it just ends there unless it's like some sort of mediator to be like oh hi this is so and so and so and so which like today there was otherwise yeah I'm like slowly coming out of that because I'm like okay what's the worst that can happen if I go for an event alone technically it's just staying on my phone the whole time which isn't the worst thing so like why why am I scared you know type of thing today i was just like you know what i'm going alone don't get me wrong it can get awkward at some times but i feel like it's only awkward if you think it's awkward because no one else thinks it's awkward um, otherwise it was good i'm glad i went i was a bit like uh, about going alone but we survived as we always do that's the thing it's like bro just just do it so yeah proud of myself a small win is still a win period i wanted to take my wig off before doing the melting cleanser oh my lash line is so itchy but i can't over scratch because then the lashes will just come flying off hey for the fact that i just want to get this all off shower and sleep i'm just going to show you what i use to take my lace fronts off i use this c22 solvent i got it from amazon but there are now local brands that sell similar stuff like it's basically just an oil type of thing that you just spray actually i can do it right now spray and it comes right off like at least i didn't glue like all the way down so i just spray where there's glue do you see that it just like starts lifting instantly period and just like that my wig is loose and ready to come off of my head the next day hey guys so it's a new day today i actually like this lighting better when i just have my vanity lights on and not the main light this makes a lot of sense oh my gosh you discover something new every day anyway it's the next day and i've literally done f all today like i have done nothing i was in bed till like 12 got up and went to the couch and was on the couch till god knows what time all i know is it's like 3 p.m right now not even it's probably like four i don't have my phone with me here yeah it's probably like four or three going to four i don't freaking know it's hot as hell okay like it is so hot and i need to shower to feel a little bit better but i just thought i would pop in regardless and yeah today's just it's a really lazy day okay yesterday was so busy and just so draining like I needed today to just do a bunch of nothing honestly to just recoup so let me go bath then I need to leave the house I want to go to book world basically that's the plan I'm trying to think of what I want to eat for dinner I cannot for the life of me pinpoint what I want to eat no takeaway near me is tickling my fancy right now I chill. this is how people end up having cereal for dinner because I literally do not know what I want to eat and that's that on that so we are dressed and ready to go now i'm just wearing this oversized t-shirt my boyfriend gave it to me it was like his old t-shirt and i love it though because it has pink on it Duh. and some shorts and i was about to put that pink hat 
where is it that pink hat on my head but i took my bonnet off and i'm like oh my gosh the breeze on my head unmatched like i'm just i'm just gonna go out like this like it's cute still to me okay and at some point i might come tackle that laundry because yeah it's the fact that it's all on top of the washing basket and not in the washing basket like bro i also at some point need to take these beddings to the laundry so we have a lot to do there's always something with adulting like there's always something to do something you're behind on like <sighs> okay let's go to book world <laughs> such a weird angle but i am back from my escapades it is 5 39 and it was so funny i ended up bumping into my auntie like my dad's youngest sister who's like my twin she just tapped me from the back she's like when you know someone from the back of their head and i'm like lol accurate you just saw my head like this head is ours <laughs> so yeah just a little like a little serendipity moment and then i was about to pay for the one card that i got i was about to swipe rather for the one card and she's like bro you're about to swipe at 10 quarter and I'm like yeah I never have cash <laughs> and she's like here you go so she gave me a 50 and said keep the change and I was like period like not you helping the needy <laughs> anyway you guys this is so random but <laughs> I just wanted to share a revelation I I'm laughing but like it's not that funny it's just like God is funny is why I'm laughing like he has a sense of humor which is the funny part so I've been asking him for a sign for a specific thing in my life right like I keep saying like God, show me a sign, show me a sign, show me a sign, show me a sign, show me signs, show me signs, whatever, whatever. So then, sometime last week, I saw a sign, well, I was given a sign, and it just still didn't make sense. Like, it was in line with what I was asking, but I just, like, I still could not decipher this sign. And then, yesterday, I'm watching Anota's story, and she posts something like, you keep asking for signs, but God has already given you the sign. And I'm like, why are you shouting? <laughs> But then right now I just opened my YouTube app and the first video that's on it is this one from a channel I'm not subscribed to, have never watched a video like this a day in my life, or well, have not watched a video from her a day in my life like this. And the title is obviously Let This Be Your Sign to Go All In. So I'm about to watch this. I hope it's clear. I hope it gives me the sign I've been asking for. And then, and then I realized that's why I didn't get the memo. <laughs> never. <laughs> I was never did her job when the people were on and I wasn't so like obviously anyway so yeah fast forward to
the next day good morning good morning everyone happy monday so i just got done doing like a 20 minute full body like dance workout i was like let me switch it up from yoga today let me do something else i tried pilates i was like mm, no so i did the dance workout and yeah so now i need to just get on with the rest of my morning routine <laughs> Otherwise, I'll speak to you guys in a bit. I'm gonna go do the rest of what I gotta do. I need to do my devotion, my journals and stuff. If you watch my morning routine, then yeah, you know my morning routine. <laughs> You guys it's already quarter past 4 p.m when i say i feel like i can't even account for my day right now i mean it because like what have i done like i had my morning routine and spent the rest of the time cleaning one thing about cleaning it would take up your whole day child if you look because once you clean one thing you're like might as well like i'm already doing it you know type of thing so that definitely took a bunch of my time i need to have some lunch now i'm gonna have some left over pizza from yesterday shout out leftovers okay i'm done eating now i'm gonna step out i'm wearing my errand dress when i have this dress on just know i'm running errands <laughs> i just need to go to the butchery actually i'm going back to book world to get a valentine's day card for my boyfriend and then i need to stop by the butchery to get relish for dinner because i want to make like a creamy pasta something creamy mince pasta type of type of thing this is my outfit my Aaron's outfit i do not look cute but i did put on some earrings to make me look a bit more feminine because i was looking like a little boy okay anyway let's go <laughs> I got my mints, but at what cost? At what cost? Ah. First order of business, water. <laughs> it's so hot outside, you guys. Yeah, so I was saying I got the mints, but at what cost? Because I get there and there's three guys, I don't know, a football team they play for, but like a local league or something. And they're just there being, I don't want to say rowdy, but just like holding up the queue, you know? Even the woman who is serving us is like, guys, like hurry up, like you're holding up the queue. Anyway, I wait and then one of the guys is trying to vibe me. I'm just like, mm, no, bye. My thing is I'm going to be nice. Like if you say hello, I'm going to say hello. But if you continue, I just feel like I'm good. Thanks. Bye. I just will not give you the time of day. And then after that there was another lady in front of me so she does her thing then now it's my turn and i go to pay with like my zap it card right and it's a zanako pos so then i insert the card and then she's like no madam the zap it won't work on the zanako machine i'm like huh make it make sense like what anyway so i'm like oh screw it but i'm like i've used my zapit card here before anyway whatever so i'm like i'll pay using mobile money like the ting thing so i go to use the ting thing and it's trying to charge me two quarter to transact and i'm like absolutely not absolutely not so i'm like let me try using my other card and my thing is with my zapit i use it for like everyday purchases like everyday like small purchases i want to say and then i only whip out my mastercard when it's kind of essential and it's like a big purchase but anyway i'm like you know what let me just use my mastercard so i use the mastercard and it works and i'm just like oh long so long anyway i'm back home now i need to get on with the rest of my to-do list and everything takes me so much longer than i anticipated that it's gonna take every single thing that i ever do so hopefully i can clean this things up for all i did i love cruising with my day one that only we know how to do Living moments We on the run We on the run Chilling, sipping bottles with the crew Girl, you were there for me You held me down Lifted me up When no one was around But I am thankful for the things that you do You helped me through 
And if they do you wrong, go hit the switch. Girl, you were there for me. You held me down, lifted me up when no one was around. And I am thankful for the things that you do. You helped me through. You guys, taste test. I'm so excited for this. I actually need to oh, take it off the, the plate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not me outdoing myself. That is so good. Oh shoot, my bad. I put it on a plate that I didn't turn off. Whoopsie daisies. The next morning. You guys, hi. This is such a bad angle, but I got this drinks organizer. I don't know if I mentioned it in the vlog. You know what? I'm gonna put text on the screen because this is a bad angle and I already set it up to unbox it, so let's just do that. Oh, why does it come in pieces like this? No. This is what it's gonna look like in the end, so let's try to put this together. Film, how satisfying. And done. Gonna test this out with some of the hell. Ha ha. Why did it move? Okay. Okay. Let me take one out. <laughs> oh, how cool. Now let's hope it fits in the fridge. That's that's dandy. All right, well, so after taking my L, I've just decided to redirect my energy towards things that will benefit me, aka cleaning. So my dressing table is a hot freaking mess, and it's been because I've been wanting to film like an organizing my makeup table, whatever, and I just have not gotten to it. But like over here on top, I can put stuff away. So that's what I'm gonna do because it's not, it's not giving what it's meant to give at all. It's actually too hot for this t-shirt right now, but I was giving new Diddy earlier, so. Also, I low-key wish I had made this desk wider, deeper? No, deeper. Yeah, the depth. Because the drawers are like so tiny. I also need to buy like brush holders from Shein, I think I sold them on. I've just been procrastinating. I need to place the order as soon as possible. I won this in a pinata the other day. It says good luck. She's a Mona Lisa. 
Everyone's not enough to see She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's not enough to see There must be something bad to see you guys, I wanted to go buy this at the pharmacy today and oh my gosh, I just found one. I use this in my hair. I'm about to put some. Oh my god, I'm excited. You find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides under her disguise. Something that features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that features Okay, so it's not as clean as I'd potentially want it to be But we can definitely agree that it's cleaner than when I began You guys can't see me, hi but um, this drawer is still pretty empty because that's where I need to do majority of the organization. So I want to put in those like drawer divider thingies. And then this will be a bit more clear. And then just an FYI, I have this like plastic thing on top. Just so that when I'm doing my makeup, like the brown doesn't get on the actual dresser. Helpful tip. You find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to me. Let me paint a picture. I see they don't understand. Feeling like Picasso. She brushing against my hands. See you from around the way you didn't give me the So I just finished doing my nails and I was filming for TikTok actually, like uh part of my maintenance vlog. But they turned out so cute. Like look at that. Guys, fun fact in another life, not even another life, back in the day I used to be a nail tech. Yeah, they turned out so stinking cute. And this is normal, just nail polish, not even gel. And period, like I still got it or whatever. The neatness at least. <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy about that. I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, funny stuff. Anywho, see y'all tomorrow. The next day. Guys, this is what it's like when you're hold on, when you're a baddie, but you have church. You just carry a chitenge, put it over, church is over, take it off, and you're a baddie again, period. Ash is secured. My ten head, period. Get put forward. I feel it. You guys, we played like three games, and our arms from the hoops, yo, yo, yo. Anyway, food time. Look at the menus. They're so cute. What do you mean? Ask you them. They are the bloody reporters. Ask you them. I don't know what I'm feeling like. So they actually yeah, so have like decent like food options. Me, like, uh -huh. No, the only reason you killed me is because I stopped. <laughs> otherwise, uh -uh. otherwise I won actually. Baby, you could keep me going, cause you've been everywhere. Let me take up all the love you're showing. I need it more than air. And you know that I've been suffocating. You could be the one to help. But my issues are nauseating I don't want to bring you down I just want to be free from the free I Feel love for the first time I just want to love something about me See something to open my eyes Don't want to be the only one with the house key Have something I'm proud of I wish we were living in my dreams Cause in another world you'll come with me And we'd be out of sight, out of mind
the first time I just want to love something about me See something to open my eyes Don't want to be the only one with a house key Have something I'm proud of I wish we were living in my dreams Cause in another world you'll come with me And we be out of sight, out of mind Drive your windows down with your head in mind Out of sight Done. done so tired <laughs> like wait wait the lighting this way yeah like my arm hurts so bad <laughs> but that was good fun guys i got a valentine's day gift from brutal fruit I got some brutal fruit of course two of them a glass with some roses and we got a little card it says hey bestie happy valentine's day love brutal fruit Period. 